It's time to welcome the Wine Ladies with Georgia and Suzanne. An entertaining hour topped up with great ideas about wine, where to dine, anything and everything to do with the vine. Great conversation, lots of laughter, guests from all walks of life, food and wine, music, art, sports, and much more, all on The Wine Ladies. Hi everybody, it's us, the Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and welcome to the Wine Ladies, one sip at a time. Thank you so much for joining us here this afternoon. And we are very excited about today's show. It has a little bit of a scientific twist, if you will. Uh -huh. uh, the topic today is all about all of us achieving the healthiest and the best lifestyle we possibly can by leveraging a little bit of info based on our genetic makeup. And it is really a revol revolutionary and innovative concept. Mm -hmm. It's going to revolutionize an industry, and it has been partly funded and endorsed by the Canadian government. And what's really cool about this, and I really love this part, <laughs> I can actually enjoy a little bit of vino on this program. Well, we wouldn't be doing this if we couldn't do that, Suzanne, right? We have <laughs> to have our vino. So here's the thing. Millions of Canadians every year try to lose weight, and they do. Um, over and, and over oh, again. Well, this is it. And they often gain it back, and sometimes they gain back even more than they lost. So now with this program, there's a proof that we can blame a little bit of that on our genes. Now we can't change our, change our genes, but there is something we can do about it, and we're gonna learn about all about that today. And we're going to try and get back into those skinny jeans, as a matter of fact. <laughs> you're getting there, you're getting there. We are getting there, actually. Also, a little later on the show, speaking about skinny, we're going to be doing some skinny cocktails on the mm -hmm. show. We're going to be inviting, or we're going to have on the show, the mixologist Chris McNeil from Iceberg Vodka mm -hmm. is going to be joining us and shaking and stirring up a few cocktails. <laughs> I can hardly wait to try that as well. Absolutely. So why don't we quickly do our traditional toast sure. to a wonderful show today learning all about our genes and living a Cheers. healthy lifestyle. Cheers everyone. All right so now joining us on the show first of all about and to tell us about this revolutionary waste, weight loss program and lifestyle program. It's not just about weight loss. Right, right. We have got the CEO his name is Jeff Ruby and he is of Newtopia. That is what the show is all about this afternoon. So welcome, Hi. Jeff. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's uh, great to be here. Oh, it's our pleasure. Great to finally meet you. I think we should sort of tell everybody right off the bat that we were introduced to Newtopia, mm -hmm. I guess about five or six weeks ago now. Mm -hmm. And when we learned that it was all based on like genetics, mm -hmm. we thought we, ha we have to get, we have to do, we have to get involved with this because these, my sisters are always saying, you got all the good genes, we, you know, in terms of like monitoring what you're eating and that kind of thing. So we were now, we've now been tested. We finally know the truth. <laughs> so you're you're now what we call Newtopians. You're We're Newtopians. You're Newtopians. Okay. You've well, been converted. You've been converted. <laughs> Raving Newtopians. It's great. It's been an interesting uh, five weeks on the program. That's for sure. And I've I've learned a lot about myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we ha Anna is uh, our consultant, and she right. calls us. Well, me and I guess you too. Twice yes, a week. Does. Twice yeah. a week. Well, now I'm down to once a week. You're, you're down to once yes, a week? I oh, yes, I am. I'm still at two times a week. <laughs> and I love hearing from her, but I also think, oh, God, you know, I better, I better be good because I know she's going to ask me all these questions, mm -hmm. and there's a little bit of a science behind it, too, with, with our, our, our pet. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you can't get away with anything. Well, the, yeah, so the, the, I mean, the idea behind Newtopia is it's a, it's a personalized health platform right. for sustainable weight loss or healthy living or healthy aging or disease prevention. Mm -hmm. It's all about identifying the right plan for each one of us. Right. And as you've probably come to see, your plan and your genetic results are probably a little bit different than yours. They would be different than mine. They'd be different than the audiences as well. So rather than a one size fits all approach, we're trying to turn it on its head and identify the right plan products and coaching support for each individual for long-term results. And that's very innovative. I mean, mm -hmm. like Suzanne said, even the Canadian government has come, stood behind this program mm -hmm. and really believes in this science. Yeah. So maybe you can take us through, like we've done it, but maybe you can sort of explain exactly sure. how it works. How does somebody get started? Sure. Well, I mean, for just even before that, I think the innovation is so important because we have a giant problem here in Canada, across North America. Um, 
we, we've got a big lifestyle problem mm -hmm. and yes, what it's leading yes. to is incredibly high rates of obesity, mm -hmm. incredibly right. high rates of type 2 diabetes, mm -hmm. and heart disease and cancer and hypertension and it all roots in this lifestyle. And um, it's not really that long, it's just the past hundred years or so uh, since the, the invention of the car and, and, and no, that type of thing. Th no, that's very true. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, our Western diet and we become mm -hmm. a little too sedentary and the stress and pressure that we face on a daily basis from right. work or relationships have, has only increased. And so when you factor all those pieces together, um, if you're not managing all of that as a whole, as a lifestyle, and you just focus in on what I call the trees, we're sitting in an orchard today, it's perfect. We're very focused on the trees. The trees are, we focus on the way we eat, uh -huh. and then sometimes we focus on the way we exercise. exercise. And right. it's always two separate things. True, uh -huh. that's none of so us, true. Yes. Right, none of us pay attention to the behavior, which is the right. stress and pressure. That's the white elephant that we all deal with. Right. But the answer to long-term results comes in putting all those pieces together. Mm -hmm. So Newtopia stands for um, this ideal or perfect place. Well, we believe you can achieve it for oh, your health. The utopia. Utopia. Oh, oh okay. I didn't realize that. So okay. the utopia okay. is ideal okay. or perfect place. Well, the new is the combination of the right nutrition uh -huh. with the right exercise and the right behavioral well-being. That's okay. the new in utopia. When you put those three pieces together, now you've got the platform to achieve long-term health results. And you That's know awesome. what I really love too about the program so far is that it wasn't like, okay, Suzanne, uh, you have to do this this and this right away mm. she slowly introduced things to me like the first yeah. few days it was okay so write down what you're eating mm -hmm. and do what you normally do so then the first call came okay I see there's quite a bit in the carbohydrates in the fat area here mm -hmm. and the proteins are lacking quite a bit right. so let's introduce more protein to your diet right. So, you know, it was kind of a gradual thing and then add on the exercise and, mm -hmm. and then... So, believe, Suzanne, believe it or not, mm -hmm. you, you talked about science. We actually know how to deliver the program for you because of what we learned about you from the assessment that you took uh -huh. and from the genetic results that we received. Um, and so what we've actually done is we've paired a coach in Anna specifically to your personality type. So if you, have you ever heard of eHarmony? Don't yes. tell me if it worked. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm no, we're still looking. I've only heard of it. <laughs> Don't tell me if it worked. But eHarmony tries to match life partners based on behavior. Right. So what Newtopia does is we match coaches and clients based on behavior. Oh, okay. And then we deliver the program specifically to your personality needs. So uh -huh. the fact that you're getting that information in bite-sized pieces slowly is because we recognize that's something you'd probably appreciate and need. Uh -huh. Whereas someone like me may have a different personality type. I actually want an awful lot. Give it to me quick. I want quick results. Uh, and so uh -huh. we actually deliver the program specific to the individual as well. So it's when I say personalized, it is really personalized for you. Wow. Yeah. I think I got my, my recommendations in a little bit gradually as well. It wasn't like change a whole bunch of things. Right. But I found the thing that I'm hearing over and over again that is one of my challenges is, and I think also Suzanne for you, is, um, and I don't know if this happens for a lot of people, but I don't get enough protein. And I didn't realize, like, you know, <laughs> how deficient I was. No, seriously, how deficient I was. Greek which yogurt. Is why Greek the yogurt. Greek yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> the Greek yogurt, the boiled eggs. What were some of the tips? She said, always have boiled eggs in your fridge. Mm -hmm. Always, you know, my husband thinks I'm crazy. We go golfing. And they're, oh, I forgot my boiled eggs. And they're, oh, my God. But, you no, know, what? It, it makes a difference. It, it does make a difference. And we often think of ourselves as having a lot of protein or a lot of meat. But it's one of the great things that we found is that most individuals actually are deficient. Uh -huh. And actually, with wine. Yes. Because one of the things Newtopia advocates is keeping wine in your diet. Mm -hmm. It's a healthy eating plan, not a diet. But with right. wine, um, one of the great thing, one of the great food pairings, if you will, is a little bit more protein, um, because uh -huh. that way you can save up some calories for the wine that you're going to enjoy. So one of the areas we'd recommend is if you're going to enjoy some wine, then also make sure that the meal you're surrounding with, whether it's a, a nice lunch or a dinner, make sure that it's a, a more protein heavy meal. Uh -huh. Okay, that's great. You know, I have to say, Jeff, one of the other things that I found that I absolutely love is that, and it has to do with this protein again, once I started augmenting and having more protein, my cravings for sweet just totally disappeared. I, I cannot believe there, that. It's amazing. You're never hungry. Well, I, I'm almost forgetting to eat now. So, so that's this is crazy. I don't know. Is that a good thing or is that not a good thing? No, I, I think I'm delighted to hear it. And <laughs> You're forgetting to eat? Yeah, almost. That's oh, why our grocery bill has gone down. No, just kidding. <laughs>
<laughs> there are two things going on there. Okay. Um, the first is that um, most of the time when we talk about changing or a lifestyle plan with nutrition and exercise and behavior, people's first reaction is, wow, that seems like a lot of hard work. And actually, it's easier than you think. And I hope you found it to be easier than you think because if you're, if you're playing with all three areas at once, mm -hmm. instead of just diet or just exercise, you yeah. have to make big changes to see results. So you have to eliminate food groups or you have to uh -huh. do the mm -hmm. marathon or the boot camp to see results yeah. with exercise. But with done a, that. With a, <laughs> most people have. With a whole yeah. lifestyle, you get to reduce small, make smaller changes in all three to see great results. Mm -hmm. and, and most of our clients are surprised how much they can eat. Like they're surprised yeah. how yeah. much they can eat. Mm -hmm. The second thing is that the products that we've made for you based on your genetic results um, are actually designed to help specifically with your cravings and with oh, your hunger oh, um, okay. and even with your dopamine levels. Um, right. So they're designed specifically for you. So that feeling of not being hungry or not having those cravings is because it's part of that. It's part of that. Okay. You, the products That's have been designed to help counteract that as well. Well, I'm lavender wow. and you're red. Yeah, in, terms red, of, yes. in terms of the... And I'm orange. Yeah. You're orange. You're orange. So I, okay. I should probably explain okay, what yes, that means. Yes, please, yeah. <laughs> um, because so what we, what we, where we start is we start off with a genetic test. Uh -huh. yes. And it's really simple. Um, you've probably both done it. Yes. Um, do you mind if I do one on screen? No, go no, ahead. Great. No, I'm going to show everyone how to we do a genetic spit. test. Uh, on the, on the <laughs> well, you're spitting wine. We usually have a spittoon, so. but that's so this is okay. A, so this is a, a little spittoon. too, but whatever. This is a spittoon for your saliva. Mm -hmm. So it's really simple. I'm just going to think of a lemon for a second. <laughs> think about a lemon. That's cute. There we go. Okay. I'm going to close the lid, yeah. and now I have a genetic test done. So it's okay. that simple. Wow. And based on this information that we can collect, we're looking at three specific genes, which we analyzed for, for you and, yes. and analyzed for me. Yes. Maybe you could explain yeah. those three gen genes. It's Absolute, so interesting. Absolutely. So the three genes, the, the names are a little scientific sounding. One is called FTO, one's called MC4R, and one's called DRD2. Okay. One is, one is the, an appetite gene, one wow. is a... Um, a metabolism gene and one okay. is an eating behavior gene. Okay. okay. And so when you take those three together, mm -hmm. they give you a picture of whether you've got a higher vulnerability to either gaining weight, having a tough time losing it, right. or just generally living unhealthy. Yeah. So it gives you a, really you can answer that question, is it me or my genes? Uh -huh. And for some of us, this is really important because right. oftentimes there's a lot of guilt associated with either mm. not understanding why we can't lose weight or yeah. being, oh, just having a, yeah. a tough time with it. And here you can finally say, it's not me. It's my genes. It's, it's my mother's I, fault. Yeah. It's my mother. It's my mother and father's fault. Right. Um, which is a great thing. Yeah. But the, Thanks a lot. But the even better part is that each of those three genes are connected to the three areas in Newtopia. So, for example, the MC4R gene is connected to the uh, macronutrients, the proteins, carbs, and fats that you should have. Okay. So, based on that gene being there or, or a variation, we can shape the right. So is um, that the fat gene? Is that what they call, what Anna the, was calling the fat the, gene? That's the fat gene. Oh, okay. That's right. The FTO gene has a big implication on the kind of exercise that's right for you. Uh -huh. So if you have a variation there, you may be better off with vigorous exercise, mm -hmm. yeah. whereas someone who doesn't have that variation may be better off, just fine with moderate exercise. Right. Like yeah, I, ha I have true. all three of them, but yes. the second one, the... Uh, the, vig the vigorous versus the, 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 the yep. moderate exercise. Yep. This yeah. is the latest thing now. Anna has now thrown into the into the Why? What into done? the puddle or whatever <laughs> is <laughs> okay. The besides the five thousand steps with right. the ped, now we have to add a little bit of more vigorous exercise mm -hmm. to oh, my program. Okay. Meanwhile, Miss Skinny over here. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't go that far, but I don't need that. I don't need that vigorous stuff. You don't. Stuff. You don't. I can just right. go at that regular kind of easy level. I guess. But she loves the the, yeah, the that, vigorous yeah. exercise. Oh, and, and don't Somebody. get me wrong. <laughs> it doesn't mean you shouldn't do vigorous activity. Yeah. It just it, this is telling us what your body really requires, okay. so that when you're spending the precious time exercising and we spend the time at least you know what to do yes most right. of us and wasting your time most of us spend yeah. our time guessing yes. or just totally trying different things without knowing now you know yes right so that's really valuable and the third gene yeah uh, it's all about eating behavior mm -hmm. um, and it relates to whether or not you're getting a signal to stop eating because you're satisfied yeah. or because you enjoy uh -huh. activity um, right. and I have that gene myself and, and uh, that variation okay. and what 
happens is if I'm sitting in front of a large plate of food, I'll just keep eating it because I'm actually not getting a signal from my brain oh. to my stomach to stop. It doesn't mean okay. I'm a pig. It doesn't mean I'm undisciplined. Right. It just means I'm not being told internally when to stop. So now, wow. knowing this about myself, uh, I choose not to go to restaurants buffets. Buffets. with buffets. <laughs> right, I, know, I won't right. go to the I Cheesecake Factory. Nothing's yeah. wrong with it, but it's just not good for me. Right. Yeah. Um, and I'll often have a friend or a family member just give me a little nudge saying, okay, you've probably had enough because I oh. actually don't know that myself. Wow. wow. So That's knowing incredible. that, yeah. very valuable because it shapes the kind of behaviors that we want <gasps> to recognize. Well, we do a lot of uh, Sunday night dinners at George's house. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I'm at home and I prepare my own plate, mm -hmm. you know, my four ounces of salmon or whatever it is. I eat that and I'm fine with it. I know that's my meal. Mm -hmm. And when we go to George's house for dinner, she likes to do the buffet style mm -hmm. and everything's uh, laid out on the, on, the, on the table. And I always end up having a second helping. I don't do that at home though. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, it, it, that's and I never do. I put yeah. whatever's on my plate and I put small right. amounts and then that's just kind of like whatever. Right. That's it. It's done. Right. You know, it's, so, it's, so, not it's fair. fair. So, <laughs> it's very interesting. But though. now, knowing your genes, yeah. because I think knowledge is powerful True. and it's important, yeah. knowing this about yourself, yeah. this is where we can come and help to shape the right plan and recommendations, the right product. So we, ta we were talking about products. So, for yes. example, here, um, I mentioned I was orange, you mentioned right. red and lavender, so yes. these are my orange products. These have been designed specifically for me uh -huh. and yours were for you yes. to address those issues that we can with natural health products for your genes. So for example, this has extra dopamine, dopamine precursors, uh -huh. because I'm low in dopamine for I myself. Uh -huh. uh, whereas okay. your products, if, if you have okay. that gene variation, would yeah. have the same, but they're made specifically for uh -huh. You, they're not magic weight loss pills. Unfortunately, they don't exist, but they do yeah. help to complement the nutrition, exercise, and behavior recommendations that we provide. Right. I think it's a fabulous program. I totally. Do too, yeah. Congratulations on that. Oh, thank yeah. you so much. How I'm, did you I'm come really up glad. with the whole concept? Ah, that's a good question. So I, I've been um, entrepreneuring, innovating in the healthcare space for a little while, and it was for really personal reasons. I started out. Um, I did my law degree and my MBA, and I was heading down a path to be a corporate lawyer and I just found I was in the wrong spot. And within a week of moving, deciding to move on, I got a call from my father who at 54 had just been diagnosed with abdominal cancer. Yeah. Oh, and wow. nice. it, it was a earth shaking move for him, yeah. of course, for my family. But for me, it was the first time that I really took a look at our Genetic healthcare uh -huh. system. Mm -hmm. And okay. uh, two things uh, came, you know, two lessons came very clear. One, I think to call what we offer here in Canada a healthcare system is probably the wrong name. I think what we offer is a sick care system. Mm. It really kicks in once something happens, right. once huh. you're ill or symptoms show up. And I was struck right. by, well, how do you stay out of it? Yeah. And the second lesson was sitting in the oncologist office with my dad. And the first question out of his mouth is, doctor, how did I get this? And the doctor's response was, well, Mr. Ruby, I think a lot of this had to do with your lifestyle. Uh -huh. And here was a yeah. great business person, yeah. family man, gave back to the community, but right. had no plan for how to eat right, oh. had no plan for how to exercise, and no plan for how to manage his stress. Yeah. And I'm not sure what scared me more, the fact that here I was with him in this awful disease diagnosis, or right. me sitting next to him 25 years younger with yes. no plan of my own. Yeah, right. And I, I didn't even know where to get it. I wasn't getting it from my doctor. I wasn't getting it from uh -huh. the gym. And so yeah. that's what led me to Newtopia. Now, was were you overweight that. when that happened? Or were you like just the way you're so slender I was, now? Were... I, was a, I was a little bit heavier. Okay. I wasn't as active. I right. was you know, a workaholic. Mm -hmm. And I was, like most of us, putting myself last. Yeah. And now what I've been able to do for myself is now I know my plan. I know my genetic results. I know the right plan for me. I have a coach. I have the right products for me. So at the end of the day, I really... What I was missing at that doctor's appointment, now I have for myself, and we just our goal is to offer it to everybody. We really just want to come up with the right personalized health solution for every person on the planet. That's Newtopia's mission. That's so, okay, awesome. so maybe for our viewers, we should tell them how do they get involved if they would like to be on this program. Sure. What exactly is involved for well, them? Here's the the simplest part. We've designed it so that it's available for everyone, uh, no mm -hmm. matter where you're watching. As long as you have an internet connection, yeah. you can participate in Newtopia. You simply have to go to newtopia.com, uh, and from there you can sign up and get started. You can get started either with a, a full genetic analysis, or some right. clients like to start very simply just by buying a Newtopia ped, this little 
you know, device here on my shoe, yep, right? uh, yeah. or some of, our, well. <laughs> some of our products. You can get started in a number of ways. And then from there, we'll send you everything by mail. Mm -hmm. We'll connect you with your coach online. And the whole goal is we want to bring this whole program to you live online. So yes. you have a portal, your coach meets with you online if you have a webcam. Um, or on your mobile device, and it's available to everyone. That's is it just cool. in English right now, or do you have uh, French and other languages? Um, or right, is that coming? Right now, um, uh, we're officially only in English. We do have some French-speaking coaches, but we're about to translate all of our materials into French, mm -hmm. so we're available across Canada, but we're seeing clients from coast to coast to coast in Canada and throughout the United States. Wonderful. That's fantastic. I have to say also, one of the things that I really enjoy about it is that the, the online component. Is that because a lot of people aren't you know don't feel comfortable? I don't have or don't have the time to go to go to, for meetings and to meet with them and, and don't want to get up and say this is where I'm at sort of thing. So Absolutely. to have that communication every couple times a week like that out of out of the comfort of your own home and on your own schedule, I think is a really big plus. Well, for sure. The, I mean, if you think about it, the last generation providers asked clients to go there to go to them mm -hmm. come right. to my clinic come to my group meeting yeah, come true. to my office yeah, and true. it was an inconvenience for true. you very convenient for them yeah. Newtopia again is revolutionizing turning it on, on its head we want to bring everything you need to you and right to your smartphone or to your tablet so that you can be at home at the office uh, up north traveling in a Starbucks and have everything you need oh. to participate uh, in a Newtopia program that's Fabulous. fantastic. Awesome. I like the way everything's linked, too. They even have a scale that we is, do. if you step on their we scale, do. you can't cheat. Yeah. <laughs> it's automatically going to tell you how here. much you weigh. Uh, it's, a, it's a lovely <laughs> home scale, uh, but this is to deal with the dishonest relationship some of us have with the scale. And what I mean by that, yes. we all do this. We step yes. on it and we see the results and we think, oh, no one's looking. So we liberally add or subtract. Well, here you get to see the results, but right. so too does your coach and your yes. results get wired right to your plan. So there's a record of them. Oh, that's so it amazing. Just, it, keeps yeah. us, it just keeps you honest. Yes, oh, that's I love that. Great. Well, we're Anna, gonna I better be getting me one of those too. <laughs> <laughs> I will make sure that you both have one if you'd like them. Well, we're enjoying. We're really enjoying it, and we're going to keep on going until we reach our goals. I right. think. Um, I don't think I have that much longer to go. But like I said, right. I've really enjoyed the changes that I'm feeling already in terms of energy and getting rid of cravings and being stronger. So well, I'm really, is, really pleased. That is great feedback, and I, just, I thank you for giving us a try, and I thank you for becoming Newtopians. It's there you it's, go. it's through um, experiences like yours that we grow and we can really build uh, a great uh, movement toward healthier lifestyle and sustainable results. Well, thank you for great. joining us here this afternoon. Oh, thank, thank you so you, much Jeff. for having awesome. me. Awesome. Our pleasure. Great. All right. So coming up next, we're going to be welcoming Chris McNeil from Iceberg Vodka, who is going to be shaking up some martinis and different kinds of awesome drinks for us. That are skinny. Skinny. And <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm sure we can enjoy those too on the, on the Newtopia plan as well. Absolutely. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> Don't go away. All right, well, before we get into the vodka segment, we're going to, being the wine ladies, of course, we have to talk a little bit about wine. Yes, absolutely. And uh, I brought this bottle over to your place, actually, on Monday for mm -hmm. the Victoria Day weekend when we were enjoying a swim in your fabulous swimming pool. <laughs> and you quite liked it, didn't you? I did. I was very impressed. Uh, I thought this would be a great wine to talk about here today. Um, this is from the Sonoma Valley. It's uh, Sauvignon Blanc. It's a Kuhn family estates. Uh, they've been around for five generations, since 1904. Wow. And I thought this wine was absolutely delightful. Remember, it was like crisp. It had grapefruit, citrus, a little bit of minerality in it. And it just, it was absolutely perfect. And dare I say that we had it with a little bit of goat cheese. I know we're allowed just a little bit on our Utopia, but it was absolutely wonderful. So uh, I'm so glad that you discovered it and brought it over. I like when you like what I like. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Quindy Sauvignon Blanc from Sonoma Valley. All right, well, here we are at the second half of the show, and we now have Chris McNeil, who is a master mixologist, and we just learned he's also a sommelier. Yes. And uh, he's going to prepare a couple of fabulous cocktails for us here this afternoon, made with iceberg vodka. And with very little calories. I like that. <laughs> Hence mm. the skinny iceberg cal uh, cocktail. Correct. Is that correct, Correct. Chris? You are correct. You can drink them all day. <laughs> All day, oh. seriously. Well, well, first of all, welcome to the show, Chris. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Our pleasure. So we just did a whole show on living a healthy lifestyle uh, based on genetics, and we found out that uh, there's a lot of wonderful things that we should be having and that we're still allowed to have, which includes some wonderful little bit of cocktails and oh. a glass of wine. So um, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we have here? Uh, we're using iceberg vodka today. Mm -hmm. uh, 
the purest vodka on the planet today. It's uh, harvested icebergs off the coast of Newfoundland. Wow. Smooth, great in a cocktail. Is that part of your job to go and harvest the uh, glaciers? <laughs> not, not yet, not yet. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. Not yet, you know. It might be a good vacation though. Yes. Uh, so I love, I love to use iceberg in most of my vodka cocktails I do. Um, mm -hmm. It's got a flavor that just lets you work with other flavors. Okay. You can make them, um, like today we're going to do some with lemon and pomegranate, all the, I guess you want to call it the, the in health kick these days. Mm -hmm. So you know, people definitely think it's much healthier when they're putting those uh, lemons and pomegranates into their drinks, which technically it is. It's not right. the heavy sugary yes. slushy drinks that you used to drink in the past. Yeah, you didn't put right. any, any yeah. you're not going to be putting any sugar in any of these No artificial at flavors all. whatsoever. Awesome. So we tell all the cocktails I make these days, we hold out any artificial flavors whatsoever. Uh, so the old days of your pina coladas with the sugar added to it. 800 calories Those later. I love mojitos, but that's a lot of yeah. sugar into oh, them. Oh, they're delicious. Yeah. So these mm. are, you mm -hmm. know, you can start with one and then shift over some iceberg vodka cocktails. Ah. So tell us a little bit about iceberg. Uh, what is it made from? Is it made from corn? Uh, it's or a sweet corn. Sweet corn. Uh, it's still okay. three times through sweet corn. Yeah. Uh, grown in the, Canada or yeah. where is it And grown? then it's done, yeah, and then it's done right through the uh, the iceberg process. So it's, the icebergs are harvested. So How you're do you talking, harvest you're talking. an iceberg? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> What's the technique? Very carefully, very carefully. Very carefully. Yeah, carefully. remember the Titanic? Maybe your next show will bring you out there. Yeah. Yeah. You should now, do a, there's an adventure for the wine yeah. lady. Yeah. Yeah. You should do a That's remote a from the icebergs. <laughs> exactly, exactly. A remote from the icebergs. Uh, now, how skinny are these cocktails, actually? They, you're going to run in about the 100-calorie range, uh, give or take a oh. couple of calories. So, okay. you know, you're definitely better than a bottle of beer, even a light beer. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's about a, about a five, six-ounce glass exactly. of wine. Exactly. It's a good six-ounce mm -hmm. glass of wine kind right? of thing. So, you know, for those of you who want to start with a couple of glasses of wine and then switch to vodka or vice versa, a great way to uh, kick off the patio season. So these are some summer cocktails that you've come these up with. Is this yeah. your creation, by these the are, way? These are very fresh. Uh, the lemon one, very popular. Uh, ladies love it particularly because mm -hmm. uh, it's just got that lemon flavor. We're topping with a little bit of uh, sparkling wine or cava on top of that. Okay. Give a little bubble, a little effervescent to it. It just works really, really well. I love them in the blue glasses too. They look so refreshing. Oh. <laughs> They Truly. do. It, so this is the Purity Lemon Cocktail. Purity Lemon Cocktail so, with sparkling wine on top. And you made it a little bit earlier, so maybe we can uh, roll when you were at work here and you can Sounds tell us good. What, what you were up to. Sounds good. And we, maybe we could enjoy them while we're listening, too. I oh, think that would like be that a idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, why don't we pass these on to okay. you? Okay. Thank you. Good. You're very welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. All right. Let's see if we can roll that, um, that segment at, while you were preparing the... Purity lemon uh, cocktail, mm. and we'll see what Ooh. that smells mm -hmm. like. Okay. okay. All right. So here, here you are, so, Chris. Yeah. Initially, we're just going to chill that martini glass for you. So you'll see, so we put some ice in the martini glasses. Mm -hmm. That's the key to. Uh, Get that nice crisp feel without putting your ice cubes into the glass. Okay. You know, and leaving it in your cocktail. It just chills the outside of your glass. It's if you don't have a lot of freezer space, that kind of thing for a chilled martini glass. Okay. So then I'm kind of talking faster than I'm making at the moment. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna put some fresh lemon in there. Mm -hmm. I prefer more lemon the better. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting the seeds in there, you are gonna strain it, so okay. you're not gonna choke in the seeds afterwards. Yeah, one good hearty lemon in there, and we're you got to remember we're making this for two at the moment. Okay. So, we're doubling the uh, doubling the amount in this glass. So, All how right. much uh, vodka do you are you going to be putting into uh, this? I'm going to tell the regular customer an ounce and a half myself, probably three. You know, oh. you just need a good <laughs> cocktail, you know. Uh, yeah. I'll, I want to go to where you bought yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm making the way I drink them. You know? Now, All iceberg right. vodka, is that available throughout it's avail Canada or it is, um, it where is, is available? It's available. Um, this, this it is available. You'll find it on your local LCBO shelves, everything like that. Iceberg Ooh. is definitely the bang for your buck, the best valued vodka on the market. I'll put it up against anything in the $40 range as well and on a lot of some of your well-known brands. Price for a, a I believe it's in about $24 okay, range right reasonable. now, for, okay. which is for yep. a bottle of vodka, very, very reasonable. Mm -hmm. So we, we just shook that all up. So is vodka still really, really popular? Vodka's getting a lot more popular now when you're, you're getting away from the vodka sodas, vodka tonics, things like that. Okay. People are experimenting more. Vodka's able to adapt to other flavors. Yeah. So it's great um, as far as letting a mixologist play with flavors and how they react and things. Mm -hmm. What do you think of those vodkas that have 
flavors added to them. Are you uh, a, uh, a fan of that, or do you prefer? Are you more? I a prefer purist? a purist, but there is a few good flavors out there, uh -huh. which is great uh, as long as they spend time to develop them. You're going to get a lot of flavors that aren't going to work, but yeah. it, it is also a marketing craze. As I'm having trouble opening the uh, the sparkling yeah, at the moment. What's happening with the cab there? Yeah. Champagne yeah. opener. <laughs> you, you were making me very nervous, so I was. You know, yeah. I bet you those pre-mixed drinks probably are a little heavier in the calories as well. For the average palate likes a little more sweetness, the, I would The think. ones that are full bottles yeah. that you're going to buy off the shelf? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, those ones you're, you're pouring a lot more. Here you're controlling how much you're putting in. Yeah. Um, the pre-mix, of course, you're just going to take it. A little bit of sparkling. Yeah. And pour it into a glass with ice and mm -hmm. go from there. Right, you know. right. Very yeah. elegant looking drink as well. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's clean. It's yeah. It's just a great greater. We should have a couple around the pool this mm -hmm. this weekend. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. It's not about you coming over again. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I guess. Just so. kidding. <laughs> and you're gonna add a little bit of garnish there. All right, we'll just a little throw bit of lemon. lemon on there. Excellent. That's beautiful. All right. So before good. we uh, go into the next drink, let's mm -hmm. give these a give these a try. I'm, I'm one step ahead of you. <laughs> oh, There's already lipstick on that glass. I know, it's delicious. It's, wow. it's so fresh. It really, really is. It's really delicious. Very nice. I was worried that it was going to be like too, a, too acidic yeah. with all that yeah. lemon. It's and got a little tart, anything, little acidity. It's well, perfect. I'm, a, I'm a big lover of Sauvignon Blanc, New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. So, this so you're going to get that lemongrass kind of flavor to it. This is the kind of drink yeah. that I would enjoy, yeah. definitely. Nice. Yeah. Very good. Well, yeah. cheers. Yeah, Actually, I like that. Delicious. Very nice. Mm -hmm. That's a winning one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not too difficult to make either. Very simple. Very right. simple. So, so what else have you got there? Then we switched over to pomegranate, which, like you know, for the last few years has been that health kick. It's kind of where mm -hmm. coconut water is going these days, which I'm sure we'll start playing with vodka and coconut water soon enough. Yeah. Uh, problem is I don't like the flavor of coconut water, so, uh, <laughs> uh, so we'll maybe see what not. happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But uh, no, so pomegranate. These, back in the day, or even five, six years ago, you couldn't. It wasn't readily available to buy pomegranate juices and things. There was yeah. one distributor, so you weren't seeing much of it out there. It was mm -hmm. uh, way too expensive to make, as well as far as selling it and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it's much more accessible. Every grocery store, every corner store carries mm -hmm. some version of pomegranate juice. Mm -hmm. Every market, especially in Toronto, we've got pomegranates available left and right. So it makes it much more accessible. It's not going to be like your normal strawberry daiquiris, sugary, Is thick. It's kind of right. sweet. Right. I haven't really had it's, pomegranate. It's got some sweetness to it, before. but it's also got some acidity at the mm -hmm. back of it, okay. so it'll be really nice. Uh, yep. So this yeah. is going to be the pomegranate and ice it vodka is. that you're going it to be is. making it for is. us now. So let's, uh, let's have a look at that one. And there he is, hard at work. The pomegranate just, is such a pretty fruit, too. The color is it's brilliant. It's a very pretty fruit. Yes. Get your fingers extremely dirty, though. Uh, oh, does it? Oh. <laughs> so, Stain, hence why I'm using the it? knife yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you can go, you can buy in the markets these days just the seeds, you know, things like that. Yes. From, yeah. from any of the local markets. So, yeah. are these uh, recipes available on the Iceberg yeah. um, website? Yes, yeah, exactly. You can go on the Iceberg mm -hmm. uh, website okay. and go through a, a whole lot of different recipes like this. We'll yeah. also put them on the wineladies.com yeah, um, when we put when we post the video as well so people would like to make these drinks and maybe as well some of the other two that we won't be able to try no, this excellent. afternoon mm -hmm. the uh, icy cosmo and the berry iceberg slushy. We missed out on that one today. <laughs> it's okay we'll get the recipes we'll try them mm -hmm. at the poolside since I know you're coming over now. <laughs> So what, do, what are you doing here We now? just put the pot, we added some pomegranate juice with the vodka, a little fresh lime just to that little mm -hmm. acidity touch to it. Now is this one going to be equally, like equal in sort of sweetness or is it going to be a touch sweeter a because of the uh, juice? Touch sweeter, but you're going, it's going to be a smooth sweet, if I guess if you want to yeah. put that in the same sentence. Okay. Um, yeah. It's going to be, I guess, a, a souped up cosmopolitan from uh -huh, a cranberry uh -huh. cosmo. You're using okay. the pomegranate a little bit using lime like you do in a Cosmo, things like that. And then some blackberries, great for color. You can also put them on a stick if you want. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you don't choke on them. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Now, I love the bottle, but I understand that um, you, Iceberg is actually going to be changing Iceberg's the in the process the of going of, through the, the uh, it's going to come up with a much sleeker looking bottle, uh, much sexier, I guess, if you want a uh -huh. smart yet provocative kind of look to it. Um, so it'll be, you know, a much more attractive. And that's going to be the end of the summer, sometime yeah. this summer. Yep. Okay. Yep. 
So okay. to look for the iceberg name, but not necessarily the blue exactly. and It'll be, silver you'll ball Yeah, you'll right still now. be similar, but you, you'll see some definitely tweaks to the product. Uh -huh. So, so how guess, long have you been a mixologist anyways? Um, probably, I was going to say, since I was 16, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> physically doing a lot of cocktails, probably the last eight, nine years, uh, heavily. So from sort of all over the world doing cocktail lists and wine lists and uh, from high-end nightclubs to resorts to hotels to private restaurants, everything like that. So you do a lot of traveling? I used to do more than I do now. Yeah? Well, oh, yeah. Now I get as far as Blur Street these days. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's yeah. give it a try. Yeah. All right. I like the fact Thank that you, you put some blackberries in there as well. Love okay, blackberries. That's really, really good. Mm hmm. Cheers. I feel like we're drinking alone. Uh, you didn't drink alone. I was doing shots earlier, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll roll that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that does have a little bit of a more mm -hmm. sweetness to it. Yeah, that's very nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't really know the flavor of pomegranates that much, actually. I'm well, just realizing. There you go. Because mm. this is quite a, quite a bit I of a foreign had, have, yeah. kind of taste, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's really good. I like that. Very, very nice. Two totally different Completely kinds different demographics. Of drinks. You have those two by your pool, you're pretty much going to hit anybody that comes to your pool. Okay. You know? So the, demographics? The yeah, the drink. pomegranate and the lemon, you're, you're going to hit every sort of What palette. is the most popular martini now? Is it still Probably the, Cosmo? the Cosmopolitan. Sex in the City didn't do any bartenders any favors, you know. Oh. Uh, it's still probably the, the most popular vodka cocktail out I just there. watched that movie, yeah. Sex, Sex in the City, twice, uh, two again last See? night <laughs> I, just, I just can't get enough of that i, I don't know you can't get the words out yeah. it's because well, you've had two cocktails yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no, it definitely is probably still the, still, eh? the wow. staple vodka cocktail but you're seeing a lot and you also have a out. cool little uh, promotion uh, yeah ice cream's coming June. out with uh packets or bottle tags mm -hmm. however you want to call them as add-ons to the uh, bottles they're going to be easy mix uh, from Cosmos to Apple Martinis. Okay. You're going to mix with water. All the ingredients or all the instructions are right there. Yeah, so just add vodka. Quick. Exactly. How many servings? One or two per package? Um, I believe those ones have two per package. Okay. Yeah. Nobody likes to drink alone. You're yeah. being so alcoholic in, words, in that point. So in we wouldn't need you, Chris, to help us make these drinks. Is that what you're saying? You are correct. We'd be on our own. It'd just be more entertaining if I made them. Of course. <laughs> But, you know, in a, in, a, in a pinch. In a pinch. When you can't make it. Exactly. You know, here's an alternative, right? Exactly. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, we've great. got our Thank drinks you. all lined up here. We're all set for the <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Officer, <laughs> I'm not driving. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for coming no in problem. and My pleasure, uh, sharing that great. with us. Fantastic. And uh, got to learn a little bit more about Iceberg Vodka. I know Excellent. we've seen it on the shelves in the past couple of years. No, it's definitely a product everybody should grab. It's, uh, it's definitely something that should be in your fridge. All right. Well, next holiday, we'll definitely pick it up. Perfect. Thanks again. No problem, Liz. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on The Wine Ladies. Uh, one sip at a time. Another, Cheers. In other words, four sips at a time this afternoon. <laughs> All at the same time? There you go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.